Yes, here we are from the beautiful assessment room here at Soma Collection in the Sydney CBD. Now, I often get asked, um, Sean, when are you gonna go exclusively online? Your online business is going well. Because I still obviously train um, a select number of people from this gym face to face. Actually, my answer is a bit different. I don't have the goal necessarily of going exclusively online and never dealing with people face to face again. Because I feel the fact that I deal with people face to face, I feel it helps me then program and deal with people online. Skilled face to face trainers, in my opinion, are going to be better skilled online coaches because you have a better coach than I in regards to programming and guys dealing with people, etc. As I develop as a coach face to face, I've been doing this nine years and I'm still getting better every year. I always look back at the previous year and go, Fuck, what was I doing? And it's constantly that cycle. As I get better at stuff where um, that isn't my expertise, all this stuff behind me, anatomy, posture, mobility, flexibility, injuries. I work with a colleague here, one of my um, colleagues and very close friends, Nigel, and he's probably one of the best um, physios and trainers I've ever seen in regards to getting people results. So I constantly mentor with him, pay him to pay him for his time to learn off. And as I get better at that aspect, I can get better outcomes in, in, in the aspects that I've said. So it's easy for a kind of a coach to give, here's the amount of calories you need to eat, here's a basic cookie cutter plan. Yes, you may lose a few kilos, that's no problem at all. But you're also putting that person at risk of going to a gym and doing exercise you haven't qualified them in. So for example, a lot of coaches don't do any assessments. Well, if you don't assess how a person's moving, how are you supposed to tell them what exercise to do? It's like going to the doctors and they don't ask what's wrong with you and just give you a random bit of medicine. May work, but probably won't. Um, so we don't want to sacrifice injuries and sacrifice how we move in the help of just burning a few calories and the hope is given that. So with my online coaching progress, I'm constantly coaching program, I'm constantly getting better in the assessment, in the coaching eye for it to see things, okay, for example, this person's knee coming in, is it coming from their ankle, is it coming from their glute, ask them, have you ever had any previous calf injury, ankles injury, yes, I've sprained a few years ago, cool, we need to work on that, because if we start to load you up heavier squats, that may break down and that could cause you, I've heard people who have slipped discs, simply from coming back from an old ankle injury, because then when they start to load the weight on, they're not in a position to be able to support that throughout. So all these things, um, posture injury, I've actually dealt with a client online who couldn't sit down longer than five minutes without getting horrible back tightness and back pain, who, who worked in IT. After a few months of assessments and program, we got to the point where he could move absolutely pain-free. Now, this is not to say I'm a physio, definitely not if there's stuff out of my realm. I'll know when to refer on to it. But it's having a certain eye and to be able to give more specific um, coaching uh, cues and be able to coach and program in that, in the compass. Mobility, strength, stability, all the elements that should encompass a good weight training program. Weight training is there to be able to maintain muscle as we lose fat around it, if the goal is fat loss. But we also want to build up the body in areas that may be weaker or stretch out or uh, mobilize areas that may be tighter to give that person a better outcome in regards to how they feel, in regards to niggles, pains, aches, how common are neck, neck tightness, how common is back tightness, how common is hip tightness. Well, if we can get that person to reach their fat loss goals while also alleviating those niggles and pains, how much better is that, gonna, is that person gonna feel versus someone who gets a cookie cutter plan, they lose a few kilos, but then they slip a disc because they're doing deadlifts when they shouldn't be doing that. So along with that, so as I become a better face-to-face -face coach and develop better skills from seeing anatomy on a day-to-day -day basis, it allows me to deal with people online much, much better. It allows me to provide a better service. It allows me to um, get better results in terms of fat loss and also in terms of posture, injuries, etc., etc. So yes, there you go. And finally, it also allows me to kind of be a little bit more picky who I deal with my guys, my face to face. Um, 
because in the early days, you're just taking on clients because you need the dough. Rent needs to get paid. You need that money quick, which is good because you get in front of a lot of people and then you can figure out how you want to, who you want to work with, etc. But now I'm in a little bit of fortune position to be able to do that as well. So long-winded answer, face-to-face -face coach, sometimes in my opinion, won't be a better online coach. Um, so there you go. So to all you online people, I'm putting in the guides for you. This is all for you.